So I showed you one way to manipulate white. We're gonna do another one. And this time, we're gonna use this guy. And he's gonna breathe in some fire on a torch and tilt. All right, let's have some fun. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go, since this is such a small item. All right, I just got through with a live with Tish Winters and I was showing her a couple of techniques of manipulating resin with uh, torches and heat guns. And one of the techniques is called a torch and tilt, which is something that Erica at Art Still Death kind of came across. Um, but it is, and I'm gonna talk about this part a little bit, uh, something you need to be very, very mindful of because you're using a torch, and if you're doing it on anything that is small, you could get burned. And the best thing to do uh, is to be able to have your hands away as far as you can. Uh, if it's canvas, obviously you can put your hands underneath because we don't want you to get burned. Uh, but the other factor is too, is that you always move your torch around. You gotta keep it in motion because as soon as it stays in place, you can scorch your resin and that's never a good thing. So if you see any kind of smoke whatsoever, uh, pull your torch away, let your resin cool off before you start doing any more torching. So very quick, See smoke, pull away, let it cool off. And be very mindful of these things because you need these things. My resin is on, it's getting close to the end of its working time. You guys know me, I like to push it. <laughs> So let's see, I don't know if it really matters which way I go. All right, I'm gonna apply a bunch of color down here. I'm gonna create like a bed of color and that way you can see it through the white. And I'm using a white paste on the top to uh, manipulate with this torch and tilt. Now it works better with a top cell again, type of uh, paste and uh, titanium white from Just Resin. Uh, let's see, Color Passion's a really good one. Uh, I'm sorry, not Color Passion. Yeah, Color Passion has a top cell white. I'm sorry. Uh, Color Obsession has Snow White, I believe. Uh, there's Casting Craft that also works really well. Let's see. Do I want to do any gold? I don't think so. I think that might be enough on that. Okay. So I'm going to put a pretty good amount of white here. Let's see if I can get it to... This is really thick stuff now. All right. And stringy. Now what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna put my hands underneath it as much as possible. I'm gonna hit it with the heat uh, from the uh, torch at an angle. And I'm also gonna tilt my piece at an angle as well. So I don't know if you could see it, like it'll be here and it'll be like, I don't know, it's almost like a 40, 45 to 35 degree angle. So be very mindful of your hands. So quickly, overall, just get rid of bubbles, and then I'm gonna focus it on the white, and it's just gonna move down. And then I'm gonna put it straight down. Let's see, do I want it to move off a little bit more? Maybe just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let that cool off just a bit. Clean off my paws. I try to 
keep my torch clean. <laughs> try. It's hard with resin, but I try. And as this is cooling, these cells are starting to open up a little bit more. And you can start seeing the color coming through it. And it looks really, really cool. Hold the piece so that you feel very comfortable with it. Don't be worried about where your hands are as far as um, like you might hurt the piece or something like that. Right now it's about safety and keeping your hands safe. So I'm gonna hit the bottom of this just a little bit just to get it to go off the end there. There we go. Now I get that white bit off. And then see if I can. Now, art coat, um, of course I'm using stone coat art coat resin, uh, but when it starts cooling off, if I heat up just this area, that area is gonna move, this will stay put. So if this whole thing cools off and I just hit, heat up a little area, only that area will move. So it's a plus and a minus, meaning if you're very used to manipulating resin, you can really take that to advantage. If you're not, it might frustrate you a bit so if that's the case, I would say overall heat it up and then just work on the overall piece moving. And that might be a way to start it at first. And then when you get more familiar with manipulating the torch, you can get certain areas. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Do I wanna do any gold on that? I don't know, maybe so. Yeah, I'll do some gold. So I just run my gold off the edge to the other edge and that way I get a nice smooth line. And with this resin being close to the uh, end of its working time, I can get a really long thread that will come off nice and smooth. Alright, let's see. So I hit my Gold just a hair, just to kind of open up the pigments. That's it. And done. All right, let me bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we go. Ready for the zoom in? Zoom. I love how you can see the sparkles through the cells. Be very, 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 very careful so that you don't burn yourself with this technique. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. All right, later y'all. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up, check my links below. There is Artist Till Death where I get all my resin colors from. And there's also a coupon code, so use, use, use. And uh, links for my Etsy store as well as supplies that I use. There you go.